Okay, so here's an update on the Muse headband. Um, so I've been meditating for four years without the headband and I just got this December 31st of 2022. And this band has really already given me insight on my meditation practices. So some guided meditations throw me off. Some guided meditations really hone me in. And I do like that the premium subscription that I got for free with the holiday special or whatever, that you can overlap so you can track. And I have 10% happier meditation app on my phone, which the Muse Band will track your brain waves while you listen to another app like Calm, Headspace, other meditation apps. I have the 10% app. 10% app, the guided meditation, yesterday really worked for me, um, which was cool. The Muse app, like the beach sounds, those can actually like distract me a little bit. So I'm learning about like silence meditation for me. And that's how I started is the best way to get my mind calm so far. And I guess, you know, with practice, that's what I'm good at. And then with like guided meditation, I'm learning. So um, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want to know more about my brain. <laughs> I want to know more about like this meditation stuff. I really do believe that we're the creators of our reality and um, that when we sit down with our breath, that we learn about ourselves and we learn about like our dark mirrors or our demons or skeletons in the closet, whatever you want to call them. We do end up learning about them. And uh, hi, baby. Um, this really helps give you insight. <laughs> hi, Delilah. This really gives you insight on um, like how your brain works. So the Muse 2 has cool. The only thing I don't like about it is that I can't monitor the raw data. So like it'll give me active, neutral, calm. And I'm like, that's cool. But I want to know like when am I in alpha and when I'm in beta, no, sorry, beta, alpha, theta, and then obviously delta is sleep. Okay. And then gamma. I want to know when I'm in gamma. I did, um, well, I'm not going to talk about that right now, but <laughs> I got really off the charts when I hit a certain pleasure point and then and it couldn't read it. And I was like, oh, okay. So anyways, this is just a beginner um, headband and uh, we're learning. I did reach out to Muse and ask them for the raw data and they said they only do it for like certain projects, experiments and stuff like that. But they did give me the app Mind Monitor and it does read it in real time, but for a layman who's not used to reading like raw data frequency, when I recorded it and it sends it to your Dropbox, I couldn't read the data. It was all in numbers and I needed to be in like graphs. I wanted a visual. All I wanted to know was when my brainwave was in alpha and data and it's just not giving me that. So I'm working on finding how to get the raw data from this <clears throat> from this device but right now I'm pretty much like I just know when I'm not in beta at this point when I'm just in like alpha theta that's basically like where I'm at but I really want to get into when I'm in alpha and when I'm in theta and the difference between them because I really do want to test out the Silva method he says theta is too deep and Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about when you're in ecstasy, you're in gamma. And so like, I want to know like, am I supposed to get in gamma? Am I supposed to stay in alpha? Because alpha, according to the Silva method, is for solving complex problems, asking the universe for assistance, and really just looking for complex problems. Now, if you go into like Mind Valley and they talk about the Silva method and they talk about um, some of Silva's students or children, and it talks about like this woman who won the lottery like a bunch of times and she just learned about hypnosis. Guys, there's a lot about your brain that we really should learn, and there's like so much information about it hypnosis, meditation, transcendental meditation visualization, 
did I say hypnosis? And which is just like your brain in meditation at a suggestive state and then suggestions while you're in the meditation. Transcendental meditation is a form of self hypnosis. And then there's like NLP, neuro linguistics programming, which teaches you about how your, pro your brain works. And there is so much to learn about the way your mind works. And I'm like, why, Lydia, why, why do you even do this? Like, one, because I've had a lot of complex trauma in my life. And so I have a lot of negative self-talk that is very depressing, suicidal, you know, bullying myself. And it's not just like a little bit, it's very extreme for me. And I'm like, oh, you, 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 you bright girl, you haven't had that. I've been shot, I had a family member murdered, you know, like lots of craziness in my life. And then when I became 17 and went to college, then, you know, my life was in my own hands. I was responsible for my own life, but because I had all these paradigms from seven, from zero to 17, then I also did not make some wise choices in college. And I just had a dream last night, but it was basically you are who you associate yourself with. And I had to learn the very hard way about bad friendships, <laughs> which really also turned my life on a dime. So with dealing with the hardships in my life, I have been looking for tools in order to deal with my stuff better because I was not dealing with my stuff better. I was doing the self punishment and just had all of these issues, right? And now you look at me and I'm like happy 